Hi there. Now, in the previous video in this series, I showed you how to express fractions like these in terms of partial fractions using constants a, b, and c, etc. And so this is just a follow up exercise. So, what I want you to do here is just to express these four fractions in terms of the constants a, b, and c. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solutions, or you might want to just quickly fast forward and see the final solutions. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, for this first one, 2x then, all divided by x plus 5 times 3x minus 7, what we've got here are two linear factors. And I showed you that if that was the case, then you'd have a constant, let's say a, divided by the first linear factor, which is, say, x plus 5. And then to this, we would add another constant, let's say b, divided by the other linear factor, which was 3x minus 7. OK? Now, for this one here, 7x plus 5 all divided by x minus 3 all squared, what we've got here is a repeated linear factor. And I showed you that if you had something like that, it would give rise to partial fractions of the form, a constant, which I call a, divided by x minus 3, and then plus another constant, let's say it's b, divided by this factor here, repeated. In other words, squared. So we've got x minus 3 all squared. And for the next one here, 5x minus 3 all divided by 6x minus 5 multiplied with 3x plus 1 all squared. Then what we've got here is one linear factor, 6x minus 5. And here we've got a repeated linear factor, 3x plus 1 all squared. So this would give rise to a constant, a, over the first linear factor, 6x minus 5. And then we handle the repeated factor similar to what we did up here. So we take another constant, let's say it's b, and we divide it by 3x plus 1. And then we take another constant, this time c, and divide it by 3x plus 1, all squared. All right, so hope you're able to get that one. And in this last one here, what I've got here is three linear factors. In the previous video, I only showed you ones like this, which had two linear factors. But what happens is that we just extend this. We put a constant over each one of the linear factors. So for this example, it's going to be, say, a over x plus 1 and then plus another constant, b, over the next linear factor, which will be x minus 3. And then finally, another constant, c, over the last linear factor, 3x plus 5. So, I hope you're able to get these right. If not, that you've been able to see at least how to set them out. Now, in the videos that follow this, I'll be showing you how we work out the constants a, b, and c, and so on. Okay? So, hopefully, if you found this useful, you'll carry on and uh, look at the other videos in this series.